by demand contraction due to the pandemic. The world's third largest economy, Japan, has slipped into recession for the first time in nearly five years. The nation is on course for its deepest post-war slump with the crisis ravaging businesses and consumers. Demand. The consecutive quarters of contraction has meant that the technical definition of a recession can be applied for what Japan is going through at this point in time. Japan's economy contracted 3.4 percentage in the first quarter. The slump came on top of an even steeper 7.3 percentage decline in the October to December period. The last time Japan suffered recession was in the second half of 2015. The fallout of the virus on corporate Japan was visible with exports diving 6 percentage in the first quarter, the biggest decline since April to June 2011. Capital expenditure fell 0.5 percentage in the first quarter after plummeting 4.8 percentage in October to December last year. Private consumption, which accounts for more than half of Japan's $5 trillion economy, slipped 0.7 percentage in the January to March period. Japan's economy is expected to shrink 22 percentage in the current quarter, which would be the biggest decline on record. Japan's major companies are also facing an adverse impact of the pandemic. Auto giant Toyota will cut its domestic vehicle production by 122,000 units in the month of June due to a lack of demand. The automaker expects an 80 percentage drop in full year operating profits, its lowest in nearly a decade. Analysts warn of an even bleaker picture for the current quarter as consumption crumbles after the government in the month of April requested citizens to stay home and told businesses to close. The Japanese government has already announced a record $1.1 trillion stimulus package. Still, many analysts warn that the government support will come too little too late due to the slow implementation of the spending plans. Our correspondent Grace Lee gets us this ground report from Tokyo. Yeah, exactly. Economists are saying that the worst numbers are yet to come. This April to June period will likely have uh, worse numbers than what we've seen so far. Japan's economy has been impacted in multiple uh, directions due to the pandemic. We saw exports go down. Uh, we saw the Olympics, which was supposed to be a major boost to the economy, uh, go back by a year. And a lot of businesses here who took out loans in anticipation of the event uh, will likely have to deal with that headache as well. We're also seeing that tourism to Japan uh, had a hard hit. Uh, incoming tourists, incoming foreign visitors went down about 99.9 percent uh, in the months following the initial COVID-19 outbreak. And with Japan under this state of emergency in a lot of places, uh, it seems that uh, state of uh, travel bans will not be lifted at any point soon. Now, Japan has lifted this state of emergency in about 80 percent of its regions and uh, Japan's uh, t uh, Japan's government is hoping that that will hopefully blow some life back into the economy but just a reminder that Tokyo and Osaka and other uh, big areas of Japan are still under a state of emergency.